today we're going to be back testing simple strategies with Python in a library called Backtrader. And so the reason you'd want to backtest your trading strategies are to see how they've performed historically and whether you would have historically at least gained money from this as opposed to just buying and holding. So the particular strategy we're going to implement is very simple. All it does is it buys when the price crosses the 50 day moving average and sells when it crosses it to the downside. And so the reason you'd want to do something like this is that you can capture these huge moves and then you don't get stuck on the downside. You're mostly sideways here and you can buy in again at the lows and capture these huge moves. And you know, people get real intense with all their different strategies. I'm just going to show you a simple one here. You can build on that and we'll get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is to load up a just a Python file. So I'm going to call mine tutorial.py. And then firstly, we're going to need to import a few libraries. So we're going to want date time. We'll need this later on to feed in the like the date range that we're interested in for our, our data that we're going to be pulling. So from date time, import date time. And then we're going to want to import Backtrader. So if you haven't got that installed already, go ahead and do so. And then let's go ahead and actually define our strategy. So the way this works in Backtrader is you define the strategy as a class. So we're going to do class SMA cross. And then this inherits uh, bt.signal strategy. So it inherits signal strategy because it is a strategy. And then let's go ahead and create our initiation function here. I just set auto indent here. So we'll first think about our indicators. So we're wanting when the simple moving average crosses the price. So first let's write out the simple moving average. So we've got our def init and self. So all this line does here is creates a function that runs immediately when an object is created from this class. And then let's have our SMA in there. And that's equal to bt.ind.sma. Now there are plenty of other indicators out there that you can find on the Backtrader website. You can also implement your own. I'll probably do a tutorial on that later on. But for now, we're just going to be using this because it's the easiest way to get started. So we've got our simple moving average, and then we want some indication of the price. And that is just self.data. So you're just grabbing the price data from the current object. So self is referring to you know, itself, the object. It's just a pointer to the object that we're in. And we're going to go grab the price data from that. The next thing we want to do is we want to define the crossover here. So we say crossover is equal to bt.ind.crossover. And then we'll say price SMA. So we want the points where we're crossing over. Simple enough. And then self self dot signal add. And then bt dot signal long crossover perfect okay so we've got our price signal here so this will, and then we also tell it which way to trade so you could say go short when the 50 when the price moves over the 50 day or you can move you could go long there are a few, again, a few different options for this that you can find on the Backtrader website in the docs. 
Okay, so that is our strategy. That's how you go about defining one. You can use this general template for lots of different strategies. All you'd have to do is maybe change this indicator. And if you didn't want a simple crossover trade, then you'd have to mess about with this as well. But even just using crossovers, you can use thousands of different indicators to create your simple strategies here. And so that's, that's more than enough to get you going. Okay. So now we need to actually boot up the, the main engine, as it were, of Backtrader. So how do we go about that? Well, it's called the Cerebro engine. I have no idea how to actually pronounce that. And we just say Cerebro equals BTC dot Cerebro. And then to create a new Cerebro object, and then we'll add our strategy to it. So do cerebro dot add strategy. And then we just want to type in the name of our class. Great. So we've got our strategy. We've added it to the, the core engine here of Backtrader. You might notice that we haven't actually got any data yet. So that's the next thing we need to work on. So we can just do data equals bt.feeds.yahoo finance data. So if you've followed some of my other tutorials, you remember that we use Y Finance to pull data from the Yahoo Finance API. Well, Backtrader has this functionality implemented in itself. And so you can just do it from within here. So we'll give it the ticker name so that's as the data name parameter data name equals btc usd obviously if you wanted earlier data you'd have to load it in yourself but we're going to be happy with just data from 2015 onwards so you're going to do from date equals and now we're going to use the date time so we're going to use date time and we're going to say 2015 and January and the first. And then we also want a to date. So a date from which we're going to. So to date equals date time. And we'll just say 2021. Again, we'll say the first and the first. Okay. And then we now need to add this data to our engine. So we'll just do a Cerebro dot add data and then data perfect and then let's just go ahead and run that and we'll see what happens so cerebro dot run and cerebro dot plot so let's go ahead and run that python 3 tutorial all right so we can see we've got our trading thing here and it seems to be working as expected so you can zoom in on one of these points and you can see that there's lots of buying and selling here because the price is frequently crossing and you can see it's bought when it goes above and it's selling when it goes down which is perfect that's exactly what we wanted the one thing you might notice though is that on the trades it's not using or deploying all of our cash now that's because by default, Backtrader will just buy or sell one of the asset if you don't tell it how much to buy. So right here, it's just going to buy one Bitcoin and hold it until such a time as we sell. And so that might be your strategy, but it's a good idea to have more fine controlled over how large our order sizes are at any given time. In particular, the strategy that I'm going to implement, we're just going to go all in um, and just see how that strategy would work. So let's go and think about how we would do that. So all you have to do really is add a sizer. That's what they're called within Backtrader. So you do cerebro.addsizer. And then you do bt.sizers. And then again, there are lots of these on the documentation. If you just Google Backtrader sizers, you'll find loads of them. I'm going to use the all in sizer because I'm going all in. And then you can also specify the percent here. 
Now, the reason why you'd want to do this is if I do percents 100, sometimes what happens is that the order doesn't go through for whatever reason. There's just some, you know, maybe some rounding errors or something. And so you can see here, it hasn't actually bought, even though there's been a crossover. And so we've lost all this upside and the back testing isn't quite working as planned. So what you can do is you can reduce this percent, maybe down to 99 or something, or say 95. And that should give us a more accurate view of essentially going all in, going 95% in on any given trade. And we'll get a more accurate view of the back test. So you can see if I zoom in, we've got price here in black. We've got the simple moving average here in red. We've got our buys and sells. This shows you whether our trades were profitable or unprofitable and roughly how much they were. And then these two lines up here tell us our overall portfolio value and our cash value. So you can see we've done quite well with this strategy, but you would have also done very well just holding Bitcoin for this whole period and not doing any trading at all. So there you go. That's how you implement a simple strategy in Backtrader in Python.